Let me try to explain this in, in terms you'll understand. I'm Tequila. Oh, I'm liking this story better already. <laughs> These are my friends, gin, vodka, and scotch. Hello, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got an emergency. Mm -hmm. You want a Bloody Mary, you've poured yourself a thimble of tomato juice. Who are you gonna call? Me? Tequila? Well, this is crazy talk. I want my vodka. <laughs> exactly. So from now on, you only call tequila when you have a legal problem. Okay, I get it now. You're coming in loud and queer. <laughs> if you don't put that donut down right now, I'm gonna blow a hole in the back of your head. Oh, my God. Just kidding. <laughs> Val, why the hell would you do that to someone? The same reason I pretend to push people in front of the subway, because it's funny. <laughs> Grace, you've got popcorn all over your lap. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I spilled some, too. <laughs> all right, now, now, no more TV till you clean your room. You're a mean mom. Well, Allison and, and Bob are staying here this weekend, and I just like to, to hide the fact that we live like rats in a bowling alley. <laughs> I like you. Wanna make out? I like you too. Let's see how the evening goes. <laughs> Surely you're aware of the winds of change that are blowing through our fair nation. I'm sorry, I'm a wee bit confused. Um, I'm just gonna put this delicately. You're a raging mo yourself, no? I don't know what you're insinuating, but my precious wife, Crystal, would be here tonight but I tragically lost grip on her wheelchair while maneuvering her down the 10,000 steps of Chichen Itza. <laughs> My baby don't mess around cause he loves me so and it's I know for sure. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. second, I've got another call. Hello? Yes, I'll stop. Thursday night, downtown at the duplex. Be there, be blown away. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not a performer. I am now. Me, a piano, and a spotlight. I'm calling it Just Jack. <laughs> Here's my flyer. Just Jack. One night only. Just Jack. Why one night of... Oh, it's open mic night. Ah, oh, Smitty. Feeling a little down. A friend told me that she didn't think I would be a good mother. Well, uh, my own mother was shot dead in front of me by her boyfriend when I was 12. And, and I've been haunted ever since, wondering if I could have saved her. Time to dry my hair. So what? What are you saying, honey? It's gonna stay on all day? Uh huh. Okay. You know what? I say we close. You're obviously in no condition to work. So. Stop. Is everybody decent? Ho! Sorry, Grace. We can't go to the movies tonight. Um, I called the theater, and they can't guarantee share security. <laughs> Gary, this isn't even the weirdest thing he's ever done with a small plastic woman. 
you like nesting? Let's stay home and rent Silkwood. I'm a lesbian who's been exposed to nuclear waste. Ho! Oh. Lorraine? Karen? Backup maid? Miss Karen? <laughs> dress were any shorter, I could see your English muffin. I wouldn't talk. If that dress were any lower, I could see your Yankee doodles. <laughs> You're a natty dresser. Are you English? Oh, no, I'm gay. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. <laughs> If that weren't true, I'd find it offensive. <laughs> Come on, Karen, let's go inside. Darling, darling, I know this is a sad day for both of us, but I just want you to know one little thing. I'm getting it all. <laughs> well, then maybe you could treat yourself to some underpants. <laughs> wow, it smells so good. <laughs> Great. You just ate that? No. How can we never make this for me? Because it's dog food. <laughs> it needs a little salt. <laughs> this is so stupid. I look like a pinata. beat you with a stick, I could watch all my money fall out. <laughs> now, how about a little appreciation for all of this? All I want is my green card, not a party I have to clean up after. <laughs> if it wasn't for this, you'd be flying back to Cucaracha on air guacamole with live chickens running up and down the aisle. Listen, lady, I'm gonna snap you like a twig and throw you in a bush. Yeah, I'd like to see. You try. Is Why this the case? I guess I'm the best. I got Oh my God, my little girl's getting married. You have a very delightful chuckle. Oh, thank you. They're real too. <laughs> Lionel Banks. Lionel like the train. Banks like money, and you are. Anastasia Beaverhausen. <laughs> Anastasia like Russian royalty. Beaverhausen like where the beaver live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jack 2001, a space odyssey. <laughs> Reaching to Uranus and beyond. <laughs> The best that you can do, Shaka Khan, is fall in love. Two, three, four, off. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around. Yay! Oh my God, Jack, that was the best show ever. It felt like you were singing only to me. <laughs> well, for the last seven shows, I was. <laughs> You know the worst part about this apartment? Oh my God, you're not gonna believe what happened. <laughs> Honest to God, I was not gonna say that. <laughs> I met Karen's mother. She's not dead, she's a cocktail waitress. <laughs> it turns out Karen's father died when she was seven. Oh my God, can you imagine what Karen looked like when she was seven years old? Cute little pumps, cute little martini, cute little pills. <laughs> anyway, from then on, they moved around a lot until Lois met a man, a ne'er-do-well named Bernie. Or was it Todd? I don't know, I can't remember. Because at that point, I zoned out because some real hot fireman came into the bar. <laughs> oh, his name was Todd. His name was, that's right, Hot Toddy, Hot Toddy, Hot Toddy, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what did I do with this number? Actually, when Karen was 16, um, her and her mother had some big falling out. And Lois wouldn't tell me what it was, but I have a feeling Karen killed a man with her bare breasts. <laughs> All this is in my movie. I smell sequel. 